Yeah, today is uh, Tuesday, 13th of uh, June 2017, and just continuing uh, the story on the Governor General here and other countries that got presidents. In a similar fashion, the Governor General to the President, one is uh, in a federal state, that's a President, and one is a government, sovereign state, that's, that's a state government as a Governor General. So, federal state government, President. Private, nobody's business, and a state government, that's a Governor General. And in a Commonwealth country, that's a President or Governor General or something else. Title in a Commonwealth, because the Commonwealth is a conglomerate of business people running those countries, like Australia's a Commonwealth country, not New Zealand, so much as a federal state running three governments in Australia, not here. We don't have a Commonwealth government here as such running tandem together with the federal state government. Federal state government is run by the Queen and owns the, that uh, entity and she's running the state government at the same time as the head of that, as trusts. She's the head of our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust. The uh, other trustees are Prince Andrew and the Queen of Spain um, uh, Imelda Marcos, her husband died last year, so that made four trustees, now three left. Uh, so I'm going to say the Governor General is appointed by the Prime Minister of the country, and the Governor General is there for the Queen or the monarch to sell the lands. He is charged with selling the lands and representing the Queen's interests in foreign lands. So um, uh, all, all the all the Maori land has to go through the Governor-General before it's approved for sale. And um, uh, as such, Jerry Mataparai, Andrews is his real surname, uh, but Mataparai is his borrowed uh, whangai or adopted name. He's now the ambassador to New Zealand on the Maori's behalf on their side in Britain, okay? As he's been put there on purpose to continue the racket of selling the Maori, the last bits of Maori land here through him into the Queen in the EU Parliament in the World Court, right? So the, that's an ex-Governor General sitting in the place of the Queen because the Queen has abandoned the Admiralty ship and gone into the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest against our interests as treason. And now Jerry Mataparai is there for Maoris to take her place in the void she's left. We're going there as Paramount Chiefs to boot him out and boot the Queen out on the trustees because as far as we're concerned the Queen Victoria Trust is still, they are still the trustees, Prince Andrew, the Queen is the head of state and head of our trustees, uh, trust, and uh, uh, Amel de Marcos. When the King of Spain died, uh, the uh, son, which is a Filipino, uh, Philippi, King Philippi and his wife became the King and Queen of Spain. And so in that, I'm, I'm just saying, in that they think they own our trust. When you, I'm telling you about a trust, the Governor General and this ambassador representing New Zealand and their mouths. The trust trustees are appointed there in the 1844 Queen Victoria set up the trust for us, the Hapu. In doing so, she pays for the Queen Victoria Trust School in Auckland, always done, and funds all the projects in the um, uh, domain, the, 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 um, all the crown lands, uh, that's the schools and all the um, domains um, as being like One Tree Hill, all the um, uh, properties set aside for the crown. Uh, she funds that and the government has to apply to that trust or the World Court Bank, the World Bank, for money 
they have to go through with these Maoris and somebody in there to sign the documents to borrow money. And that's why they put this country into debt by borrowing money against the beneficiaries of this country, including the Maoris, who are the beneficiaries of this trust. Not everybody else. The Maoris are the beneficiaries of this trust. They should be getting the money, not everybody else. So they made everybody in New Zealand the same equal rights as the Maori that they've duped on their lands. And, and, and so the Governor General uh, is, is liable for the uh, seals of this country in the court. Uh, the Governor General is, is there with the Justice Minister of the Supreme Court to act on the Queen's advice and the Queen's authority to sell what is the Queen is claiming as her land in the world, 66 million acres, and all of New Zealand, all Commonwealth countries belong to the Queen as far as they're concerned. And I'm saying it doesn't belong to him, it belongs to the King and his common law people, which is on that side. So here we go again. The King and Queen of Spain are still liable to the missing goal. 1.5 million tons of gold, metric tons of gold, in the Philippines. And so, in order to find the owner of that trust assets, the President Duterte, this is a president of the Philippines, put a writ warrant, that's what we're using at the same time, here on Cook Street and this country, he put a writ warrant of financial martial law of this flag, this flag, because he's using British law, and possession and control over his country to seize the land back into his government off the Crown Corporation's government so that he's got the gold locked up in the ground that he claims off the Crown that's hidden there because he can't touch it. It's been put there securely in his land, in his country, and they have to pay to look after it. And uh, so this is what the US federal state government of the Queen's ownership did. They contracted ISIS, like what they're doing to Syria, into Philippines to go and kill everybody, and including a, a assassination of um, Duterte, president, to kill him and as many people as they can to take control of the country. And you've got two martial laws running there. The ISIS doesn't have a martial law. They're sneaking it in through Donald Trump. And Donald Trump was going to meet the Queen. He's cut that short now. He's cut it short. I'll tell you why. He's a president, like I'm saying. I'm talking about presidents and governor generals who have the ultimate Queen's consent on this side, over the King's consent on this side, to do what they want with the Admiralty flag, which is nobody's business. It's private. This flag is private. Only this flag is private. Not any flag else. Not the Union Jack flag of England. Not any other flag has private contract interests that separates you from everyone in the world. Just this flag. Okay, so I'm making these statements online to define who is the president and who is the governor general, who has the power, where they get it from, whose authority, who gave it to them, and who has authority to carry on using it, or whose authority to end them. It's this flag that ends them all, and that's very near. That's right. So it's up to us to change the trustees. Any trust has to be replaced from its beneficiaries. The other beneficiaries of that trust to replace the Queen and to replace the other trustees, Prince Andrew and the King and Queen of Spain. So the King has died. His son, their son, Amelda Marcos and Ferdinand Marcos, son, Philippi, King of, King, King of Spain with his wife, the Queen, has no legal legitimate entity title to the gold 
1.5 million metric tons of gold sitting in the Philippines. None were at all to this contract. They can't come in as a third party. They can't just simply say they are trustees because the king died. No, it's up to us to replace the original trust, the 1844 trust. That's our business. No one can touch that. You'll, 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 you'll get into trouble with us because we haven't changed it. We're about to change it. That's our business. Nobody else. You're a third party. So that's what I'm saying with that president, that Donald Trump was told by the Queen to come and see her. He says, no, I'm going to the Philippines. And then all of a sudden he changed his mind. He's not going to go there because they're going to wait for him and start killing him. Or they know now, because I think they're watching what I'm saying, about that call. And so the Donald Trump has cancelled his trip to go and see the Queen because he's got an assassination on him. And he's been caught out by the federal generals there in the um, uh, federal state government has caught him out. The Congress has caught him out selling um, assets off for his own private use and big amounts in the Trump Tower. So that's going to put a spanner right through the works for him as a president because they are responsible for selling land and selling the Queen's consent and that comes out of this King's flag. You ask them where you get your authority from, they'll always end up with their flag. No matter what. It's not the Union Jack flag, they'll always end up on the King's flag. So that's what I'm saying.